If you've ever asked the question, what is the best furthest reaching radio that I can buy? This video is for you. There is no new magic radio technology that can achieve what you're looking for. I want to start this video out by saying, the radio waves that exist now have been used and will continue to be used in the future. You can either make your radio signal longer or shorter to achieve the thing that you are trying to achieve. This video is prompted by two different things I see people asking. What product do I get to go X amount of miles? And stupid internet post claiming that they have achieved some new reality bending device that can transmit from zero to 1,000 miles or whatever crazy new technology they've claimed to make, but never ever get into the details of what it is. You can communicate a few different ways. First, the one that we used forever was a hard line network, like an old telephone you had in your house. A system literally worked with a wire running to every building through every town and neighborhood in the US. Two, you can go through a network of very complicated digital repeaters like a cell phone network. This is where you see those push-to-talk radios and other things that claim they have unlimited range around the US or around the globe. A cell phone and one of these push-to-talk over cellular networks, they operate pretty much the same way. They go through the same networks and your cell phone is just a little bit more complicated. It operates on full duplex through the system where you and another person can talk over each other. You're, you know, on the same line. You can speak over each other. The push to talk radios or cell phones, as I call them, they operate on half duplex, meaning I can key up and talk and the other person has to listen. He can't talk over me. And, and the other way, when he keys up, I gotta listen. I can't talk over him or whoever I'm talking to. These ads aggravate me the most in the sense that their advertisement always makes it seem like they are achieving some new grand thing that just they have invented. They haven't. And there's not a new radio signal they're using or new band that they have discovered that achieves this. This is simply just routing through a network. And if you have followed my channel, we talk a lot about emergency communications. This is not my first choice for emergency communications because if the cell networks go down, these are going down with it. If you had two of these push to talk cell phones and they were right next to each other, you and a friend wanted to talk, I don't know, 500 feet or even five feet and the network didn't work, you're not talking to anybody. They have no simplex communication abilities, meaning I can't key up to that other radio or cell phone, whatever you want to call it. It's just not possible. Another thing I want to point out before I move on, your cell phone and these push to talk over cellular network radios operate on a frequency that is only going to go a few miles possibly on the ground and they achieve their getting to the network because the towers are up high and they're not transmitting through anything. So if these, if the network were to go down, even if you could have simplex communication, the frequency that it operates on is so high, it's not going to go very far anyways. And that goes for your cell phone too. Even if you could, and these are not capable of actually even doing that. Another way you can communicate is with satellite networks. These achieve range by transmitting up into the sky. Remember, we're not going through things on the ground. Is transmitting up to a satellite. And satellites like the Iridium network and there's some other networks that you can go through. And what that is, is you're sending a text message or if you get a sat phone, your voice up through the satellites, it's going to route through the satellite and come back down where it needs to come back down, wherever the other sat phone or spot x device whatever you are using on this satellite network it's going to route the signal down around the globe so the signal is going up and routing up and around and coming back down to where it needs to come back down to again it's probably using a uhf signal to achieve this and uhf on simplex if you were on the ground would only have a three to six mile range, just like a Baofeng 
ham or GMRS radio would. It's achieving this by going around things through clear air. And the last thing you can get into is GMRS and ham radio. GMRS and ham radio can talk simplex, meaning I'm transmitting on one frequency to someone else, and we can both occupy that frequency at different times, just like I talked before. I can key up, and the other person on that same frequency can listen, and then he or her can transmit, and I can listen, but I cannot talk over them. This is a radio. This is typically how any walkie-talkie is going to work, or GMRS radio is going to work. Ham and GMRS radios also achieve amazing range by using a cheat code, basically, called a repeater. Think of this as a less complicated cell phone tower, and for the for the most part, one person can talk on this at a time. Unlike a cell phone tower, you can have hundreds of people going through it all at once. So this is a radio tower that operates on two different frequencies, a transmit frequency and a receive frequency. Radios will transmit on one frequency that the repeater is listening on, and then that repeater will transmit it back out on its transmit frequency, which is the radio's receive frequency. These towers are typically very high up, and that is what's giving them their range. They can blanket an area because it's sitting over top of an area, and it can provide good coverage for everyone using that ham or GMRS radio system. Ranges with repeaters range anywhere from 15 to 100 miles, depending on how high up and that location of that particular repeater. The benefits to this over a cell phone is the repeaters in most cases are on backup power. In my case, my GMRS repeater runs off a big battery pack and a 200 watt solar panel, so it never requires grid power. There is ham and GMRS radio enthusiasts all across the United States and put up micro repeaters or bigger linked repeaters if you're using ham. These are gonna work better in emergency because most of them are running off of backup emergency power and or solar and can stay running, in my case, indefinitely after a grid failure, or in a lot of other cases, at least for a long time after a power grid failure. The cons for this, it's really only good for local communications. In most cases, you're not gonna contact anyone 500 or 600 miles away on this. These repeater systems are generally local communications about 100 miles on maximum range. VHF and UHF signals on ham and GMRS are good through these repeaters because they can blanket your immediate area, your local area, and a lot of signal. The problem is, once they go over the horizon, they scatter off into space and don't bend around the planet. Which brings me to my last point on radio waves, is that hams can use HF. This is high frequency. So these are longer wavelengths. Even CB operates in the HF sphere, but it's closer to VHF than anything, but still it resides HF. The pros to using HF is you get worldwide simplex communication, so no repeater needed. These radio waves have the ability to bounce off the atmosphere and bend around the world. Now this isn't perfect, they're skip zones, and these are very dependent on atmospheric conditions, when the band will work, and when conditions are right and conditions are always changing. So with shorter wavelengths like VHF and UHF, we can achieve better and more reliable communications basically by using a cheat code called repeaters. And with HF, we can bounce the signal around to achieve very long range but not very reliable communications. Hams spend years crafting antennas and honing their skills to achieve contacts around the globe. This requires large antenna setups and complicated, expensive radios to use. So if anyone is showing you some tiny little device, like a small handheld radio that can achieve global or even something that can transmit around the nation, it has to be going through a system. There isn't a new radio wave technology or anything that can achieve this without going through a network. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.